New York City is starting a major effort to make sure the air is safe in every public school. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Students and faculty have returned to classrooms in less than three weeks. And today, Mayor de Blasio says that he's taking action on growing concerns about the air quality inside city schools. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez live in Washington Heights with more on this. Hazel. Yeah, hi there. The mayor announced today the creation of school ventilation action teams. Those teams will be inspecting every single classroom in city schools like this one, making sure they're properly suited to maintain safe air quality for students and faculty. Eight-year-old Ethan Guzman says he loves scooting in the warm summer air, but he's ready to head back to school. He's returning on a hybrid plan that will have him back at PS 128 in Washington Heights a few days a week. It's better to be with your friends instead of looking at them on a computer, right? Yeah, it's boring, kind of. I want to send them, but I still have concerns. Jamie Guzman says his biggest concern is his son's school lacking proper heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems in the classrooms, especially since Ethan has asthma. More than half of it don't have HVAC. They have the AC, so they'll have the window open. And I was like, yeah, but that's also a concern. On Tuesday, Mayor de Blasio and school's Chancellor Richard Carranza announced new school ventilation action teams will be inspecting every single learning space in every public school. To make sure that every school is ready, that the ventilation systems are working, that windows are open even if they weren't open in the past because there's nothing as powerful as fresh air when it comes to fighting this virus. The inspection teams, made up of independent ventilation experts and professional licensed engineers contracted by the school construction authority, will make necessary repairs or adjustments to rooms to ensure sufficient air quality before school starts. If inspections find that an entire school or particular rooms do not have adequate ventilation, then we will not, would not allow anyone to use those spaces until they are made safe. The Department of Buildings and the FDNY will be helping with the inspections, but Guzman says he's worried they won't get all the work done on time. They should have done this months ago, not uh, uh, less than a month when school's about to start. When you rush things, things don't come out right. Now, the DOE has also purchased 10,000 air purifiers to be placed in schools. Also, every single building will be given a carbon dioxide detection device to routinely measure air quality in classrooms. We're live in Washington Heights. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you.